Hi there, y'all. Disney D. Prince here today with another Make It Over Monday. Today, we're going to try Barbie Does Cake Decorating with this asymmetrical wedding cake that we got with one of the um, table sets. And it's very cool. It's got a lot of flowers and little small details on it. And we are going to try this one with a different kind of paint this time. We're going to try mixing it with the Mod Podge instead of doing the Mr. Super Clear like we did last time because Mr. Super Clear is expensive. So we're going to try mixing our white paint with Mod Podge this time after the success of the last Make It Over Monday's um, Skipper Boy <laughs> Molded Hair Repaint. So we're going to try that with our little wet palette that we've got. Um, and we are going to attempt to do that this way. So again, we have got our plate with our paper towels. We're going to do our white base and just with our regular gloss Mod Podge. Uh, actually, Cake really isn't glossy. Mm. So you know what? We're going to use our matte Mod Podge. Now, since this is a sealer, it's going to get sealed in between every coat, which is good, which is what you're supposed to do with Mr. Super Clear, really. Um, but with Mr. Super Clear being so expensive, I generally prefer to seal it at the beginning with a couple of layers and then seal it at the end with like a finishing. But I do see people that hit it with Mr. Super Clear in between every single layer that they're happy with. So we've got that. We're gonna mix them. Hard to tell when this is fully mixed considering it's all white, but we're going for a white cake. Let me see what I have to kind of jam in that hole. Because I don't think what I would normally use is going to work like that. Hmm. I'm going to have to use like a paintbrush or something, but I don't know if they're regular paintbrushes. Oh yeah, that'll work. So. Okay, and again, we're gonna do, try to get as much of it off so we don't have clumps as we can. And again, we just want a nice even layer for our first one. Trying to not have too many streak marks. You can only avoid so many. But it does seem like it's doing all right. And again, we're treating this all as a base layer, just to cover all this pink.
again, we haven't added more paint to our brush since the first dip. We just want to make sure our paint is going on in as even a layer as we can get. And we're trying to brush out those brush stroke lines. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll hit this with the hairdryer and we'll be right back. All right, we've hit it with the hairdryer. It's nice and dry now. And we're gonna do our second coat and really just go for that coverage this time. And so we're gonna start at the top. Again, just trying to get into all those little details on the flowers. We're not as concerned about adding paint this time around, just because we know that we are going to want a white cake. Like if we weren't sure what color this was going to be, I would say go light layers until you have a base, but we can go a little heavier because we know it's a wedding cake and we're going to make it white. So because we've got this mat on here, we're not getting that plasticky look from it, really. Which is good. Remember, Mod Podge is stickier and it is a sealant. So, like I say, we are sealing every layer in between by using Mod Podge. That is both a good and a bad thing. If you're used to working with sealed layers, it's great but you can no longer um, you can no longer wash things off essentially because a lot of the times you can take off stuff between layers if you make a mistake because you have a kind of um, solid sealed base under there but because this is mixed with Mod Podge we are going to have to be a little more conscious in our efforts. But this is a bright pink cake originally, and it's sealing pretty well with this white and Mod Podge. So. You know, 
not mad about that. I might replace my Mr. Super Clear with this method. Instead of using like a matte spray paint, just invest in the big tub of Mod Podge that's like 10 bucks usually. Very nice. It's got a little bit of that icing look from the way our brush strokes are going. So that's good. Do just a little bit more up top. I think we're going to need maybe one more layer and then we'll be good. Okay. I'm gonna hit this with the hair dryer and be right back. Okay, we are back and it is dry. So now I think we can go on and start painting our details. Now you could leave it like this. If you just want a plain white cake, there is no reason you can't just say, okay, that's fine. Um, so you could do that. I think that I am going to make this um, like emerald and then a little bit of red or maybe gold. Yeah, you know what, gold. So we're gonna do green and gold. I think are gonna be our accent colors on here. So we're gonna make the flowers gold, the little dots gold, and then we're gonna paint the little dots here on the inside as emerald. And the ones here on the outside. So I think that'll look cute. I'm not certain it'll look cute, but I'm gonna to try to make it cute, all right? Uh, but I've got a couple of different brushes for that that I'm gonna use. Just because I know I can. I'm gonna use this one. I'm going, going through my brush sets and trying to make sure I have the ones that I wanna use. So I'm going to use a 20 zero for our dots and things. And then probably this five zero for our flowers. I'm still going to keep using this as my mixing brush. I'm going to grab my emerald paint, metallic acrylic. This I just got from the Dollar Tree. Easy. If you remember my last face-up video, we used the metallic blue for sapphire. So we are going to do a little bit of this because we don't need a lot probably that much uh, we're gonna use the gloss to go with that to really make these pop and then we're going to rinse our brush first before we mix 
and then we're going to mix until we've got our nice happy little emerald. Okay. And then rinse that out. And we are going to try to do our dots. So again, we're going to start here at the top. We're going to aim for these little dots here in the middle. not coming off as cute as I want it to. Eh, that's not working, unfortunately. <sighs> okay, so we're going to do is go back over with our light and just call it a do-over. Just like that. Okay, maybe we just paint the flowers. So let's just do the flowers green, I guess. I'll try it with this one this time. Oh, no, wrong one. This one.
that's fine. Okay, we'll hit these with the hairbrush and we'll be right back. Hair dryer, I meant hair dryer. You heard me say hair dryer, not hair brush. Um, so we're gonna give it a second coat. And we'll hit this with the hair dryer again and be right back. Okay, we've hit it with the hair dryer and we are going to paint in some gold now. Set this off to the side 
And let's prep our gold. So again, we're gonna use the Dollar Tree paint. I'm gonna put just a little bit of our bright yellow in there to extra pigment it. And use the Gloss Mod Podge to combine those. Okay, and it immediately just became yellow. Okay, so we need to do some more of that gold. Even if it dries shiny, we really want it to come off more gold than yellow. Maybe I should have just kept it. With anything that's metallic, I'm always worried that it's going to come off as just a solid or come out as just glitter, which happens a lot. Uh, so it's fine. But for this go round, again, we are going to use our itty bitty brush. Um, what we want to do is just put a drop of that yellow right there in the center of every flower. If we can even pick it up on the brush, that'd be great. Okay. Okay, just like that. Just want that yellow right in the center so they look less like greenery and more like flowers. They kind of look like cabbages, but that's okay. Okay. Very pretty. We will hit it with the hair dryer and come right back. Okay, there it is. 
done with the flowers in the center. So I don't know if we're gonna be able to drop just that little bit of gold that we wanna do on these dots. I can try, but I think it's gonna come out too watery. Maybe it'll work. All right. Okay. So that's about how it looks. I'm gonna take just a little of this off. Cause that felt like a really big drop. about getting a little bit more. If 
vibrancy up here, maybe. That's what it looks like from the top. You get a little bit of that. Let me hit it with the hairdryer and see what it looks like when it's dry. All right, so this is what it looks like once it's dry. It's pretty cute. I'm gonna paint the bottom part gold. Um, I might actually do the whole. No, I'm gonna keep it white and then just do the bottom part of this because I can hold on by the dry part. just because I can't really get in the crease of those very well. But I can get in the crease of these pretty well. Bueno. I don't love that this is still kind of showing through on this part right there. So I'm actually going to try to go in with my regular brush.
all I'm going to see is that green spot if I don't do this real quick. Green flake. Which I don't even know how it got there. Much better. Okay. And then I'll hit this with the hairdryer, and then I think we'll be done. Let's see how all of this comes out. All right, y'all. We have got it dried, and it looks pretty good. There's a couple of spots here and there, but honestly, the brush stroke on the matte versus the gloss really makes it look like icing. So I'm not mad at the way that looks. The details pop. I would have loved to have been able to get into those tight things and do the gold, but the gold does not come off without being really thick. And getting in that little crease was very hard. Um, but if you have an idea of how I could have done that better, um, aside from better quality paints, which obviously, um, <laughs> let me know. But overall, this is a very fun little, like, I don't know, cabbage and mustard wedding. It's very cute. I like it. I love green. I love gold. I love white. Looks cute. <laughs> so I think overall it was pretty easy. You know, once we did the uh, Mod Podge, mixture like all of this is sealed so you don't have to worry about it flaking if you want to do a uv coat there are spray sealants that do that if you want to protect it but other than that i think it works out pretty well so if you guys have any questions let me know in the comments if you enjoyed it leave me a like and as always follow along for some more fun unboxings and some more fun make it over mondays all right y'all be good Bye.